Hi everyone, thank you for taking the time to be working out with me. My name is Caroline and I will be taking you all the way through. Mother of all workouts is a good warm up, so I'll be taking you to three warm ups. First one is lunge bag and rotation, 45 seconds of that one. Please do alternating, lunging back, do a big step, rotate open, look to the sky, come back and step forward. Big lunge back, hip deep, then open your arm and come back forward, step forward. If you can in one big step, lunge back, rotate towards the bent leg, and come back forward if you want to. You can have your hands down all the time, then lunge back, rotate and come back forward. I love staying a little bit longer in whatever feels really great, either in the lunge or in the rotation. And that's well done. Get ready for your next move. This is a wide squat contract release, warming up the spine in contraction and extension and also toning your belly. Here we go, wide squat, toes are pointing outwards, kneecaps are pointing towards your toes. You can either squat and come back up into standing or you can stay all the way down at what I love to do. So you're staying in your lower squat. It's a bit hard on your quads, but hey, that's what we're coming for, right? So then exhale, squat down or stay down, crunch forward, pulling in your navel, and then inhale and come back up to standing. Exhale, crunch forward, navel in, inhale, come up, open your arms, arms forward, exhale, navel in, inhale, arms open and stand up tall. Very good. Make sure that your weight comes to the outer edges of your feet and don't collapse inwards in your arches. Last warm up to get ready with our back line. Again, flexing and extending our back, more flexing. You come into parallel with your feet. And here we go, inhale, squat, lower your hips. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, squat, you can bring those knees out and your toes out a little bit if you want. Exhale, forward, feet parallel. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, fold forward, head is relaxed. Make sure not to contract your neck. Exhale, fold forward, feet are parallel. Inhale, feet are pointing outwards and squatting. And again, you can stay either in the forward fold or in the squat if you like that position. The longer, I personally love to squat very deep, kind of sitting on my heels because I think it's a great exercise for ankle mobility, getting movement in these ankles and these feet. Great one, so here we go. This is the first one of the exercises of our leg superset. We do a squat and then lift on toes, 45 seconds. And here the fun starts, so come down and squat, bending low and then inhaling, coming back up. I like to exhale and inhale, coming up onto my tippy toes. These are the balls of the feet. If you want to, rather than staying on your toes, jump. That's a squat, jump. It'll be a bit faster, but you can manage this to be more cardio then. Now squat down and if you want to work your back a bit, bring those arms overhead extending from your spine. And then bring those arms backward, contracting your shoulder blades toward the spine, working those back muscles a little bit. You can never work the back muscles too little. Great. Well done. Focus on your legs. Right leg lunges. You can start standing, standing tall, then stepping backwards with that right leg coming to a deep lunge, and then come back forward, standing tall, bring that knee up. Here we go, lunging deep, don't hit your kneecap, and then stand tall, raising that right leg as far as you can. This will contract your glutes. The more you push your hips forward and raise that leg, the more you work in your glutes. So work in the whole leg. Wonderful. And again, if you're a little bit more adventurous, you can add a jump here if you lunge back and then jump with that knee raising and helping you with a little bit of a momentum. Make those arms work and you want to pull one arm back, one arm forward, runner's arms. Very good. You can either jump every time, every second time or not jump at all. That's up to you. I'm doing the low <laughs> impact version here. Second round squatting. We're coming back into our squat position. Feet hip width apart, slightly pointing outwards, so your toes are further apart than your heels. And then squat low, and then come back up onto your toes, bringing your arms backwards. 
Again, if you feel like it, you can add a little jump. You can also jump only every second time you're squatting or not at all. I put this music on especially for you so you're having fun pulling through. So this might get a little bit cardio because we're exhausting our legs. We're working on the legs for the whole workout and that will be great for toning and we're even working on a little bit of strength here although we do not have any weights. We do not have any equipment and this is intentional so you can do this workout anytime at home, outdoors, traveling, wherever you want. <coughs> Wonderful. Time for the left leg to start working. So left leg lunges backwards, deep lunge, and then come back up into standing, lifting that left leg. Here we go. Make this as beautiful as the other side. So no envy here. And if you have been jumping on the other side, please repeat the same as on the other, either jumping every time, every second time, or not jumping at all. Remember your impact here if you have joint problems, knees, ankles, or hips then don't jump if that is no problem for you and you should be warmed up by now, then you can jump if you want to. Make this your workout. This is great for your glutes, this is great for your quadriceps. I think this is a wonderful workout for the mobility of your toes because look at those toes, how they're flexing in the back. This is a great workout, love it. Sneaking in, a full body exercise in here, a plank pose. Keep your middle fingers parallel, pointing forward, hands underneath your shoulders, come into position. Here we go, 45 seconds of pulling the navel in, but keep breathing. So you want to have your weight slightly pushing forward over your hands, so your sternum, like the chest, the middle of your chest, is slightly in front of your wrists. Then have your legs straight, come a little bit up with your bum, so that it's not hanging or sagging in the navel and now best and queen and king exercise is to bring those shoulder blades back and towards the spine and then bring those shoulders away from your ears so creating a really long neck so we're not contracting our necks really good keep breathing and well done here's the side lunge warrior one of the most fun exercises this is a great one for the inner thighs. Just make sure we are having space to be stepping wide enough. Here we go. Step out. The stepping out foot is slightly turned outwards. So your knee that's stepping outwards is also pointing outside. So you're really coming into a kind of warrior pose here. Only with the feet are pointing away from each other. Now, if you want to add those arms, imagine a bow and arrow. So you point in your bow into the middle and you're pulling on your arrow when you're stepping outside pull on your arrow when you're stepping outside come back into the middle pulling arrow stepping out coming to the middle pulling and coming back into the middle you can add your hat always look into the direction of your bow wonderful keep breathing and you can relax your head this is a very simple exercise we're doing three bounces in wide squat and then coming back up to standing here we go go down one two and come back up go down one two three and come back up to standing push those hips through one two three push those hips and one two three only stand wide enough so you're comfortable in your knees three and come up go down one arms are pointing forward and go down come back up exhale one two three inhale up open your chest one two three and come back up don't contract those shoulders to those ears have those shoulders relaxed and one and two and three we can do one more go down go down go down you can do it and here's your last couple your last superset that's another side lunge warrior. You can play with those arms again. Have fun. Step outside. Work those inner thighs. Here we go. And stepping back. Step out. Knee outwards. And come back. Out. And in. Big step. Now try to get those hips as low as you can and bouncing back off as quick as possible. So don't get lazy down there. Come back up as fast as you can. Go as low as you can and come back up. Low as you can, bounce back up. It's like a little bit of a propulsion from the floor. 
and push and down and push and down very good now what about those arms how's your bone arrow doing if not just have those arms in front of you do squat arms whatever <laughs> very good here we go last exercise wide squat three pulses and coming back up here we go one two and three and come back up and we go for one two arms are forward and pulling back i'm forward holding like a big ball and then pull the shoulder blades back one two three shoulders back very good where are your shoulder blades pulling towards the spine where's your shoulder girdle sitting on your chest really away from those ears use this to mobilize a little bit your shoulder but bring those arms forward and then pulling them back knees go outwards don't fade away keep going just seven more seconds knees are pulling out the weight is on the outside of your feet well done here we go deserve stretching we're doing static, static stretches this time first one quad right side stand tall grab your ankle and then push your hip forward try to keep those thighs parallel and push those hips forward slightly contract your glutes so that your upper body and your legs are in one line standing tall wonderful breathe and then slowly change sides grabbing your left ankle if you want to you can have this arm up i just find it best for keeping my balance i'm like having the arm to the outside or forward or having the hand in the hips no matter keep those legs parallel keep your hips forward contract your glutes and this is really good for stretching the quad wonderful forward fold letting your head loose come into a parallel position feet parallel and then just let yourself hang forward relax the head relax the neck i like to release the head by doing little circles by shaking the head bending left and right seeing where it needs a little bit of releasing so move around a bit and then step backwards or crawl forwards with your hands coming to a down dog i'm having two intentions here one is to stretch the calves so you can either have both heels trying to reach the floor or what i love doing is to walk a bit from one side to the other pushing the heels down and for the arms this is a chest opener so push your sternum down to the ground very good then step backwards or forward <laughs> right leg is back left leg is forward so right leg stepping back into a deep lunge you can either have your hands on the floor if you manage push your hips really down to the ground or if you want you can also have your both hands on your thighs and this will um, ease breathing a little bit and have your chest more open and then change sides whatever side you had so your left leg is back right leg is forward make sure your step is really big so that your knee is on top of your ankle and not too far in front of your ankle really big step pushing the hips down letting the hips go enjoy these last few seconds stretching you can do some more if you want to you warmed up thank you for tuning in thanks for working out subscribe if you haven't and see you next time